Hey guys, I decided to turn the camera on and update you guys on just life in general. This week has been incredibly emotionally taxing. Um, not only what's going on in the news, not only Corona, not only, you know, police officers getting away with murder, murdering black people. Um, my husband, we just had a medical emergency. He, he just got diagnosed with um, diabetes. And um, so I'm waiting to pick him up. But for the past couple of days, I've been having, you know, a dull headache. And I've just been, you know, taking Excedrin or whatever, but something told me to take my blood pressure. And it's a little high, which is kind of shocking because my blood pressure has always been like astoundingly low. Like they're like, I've never seen blood pressure this low. So, right now it's a little high, but um, while waiting for my husband to be discharged, we went to the grocery store. I got some beets, some organic beets. Got some carrots. Because I remember when um, I had preeclampsia, which is toxemia um, when you're pregnant. Um, I had it when I was pregnant with my firstborn Rel and my parents brought me beet juice, beet and carrot juice like fresh juice, freshly juiced um, and that brought down my blood pressure so I'm going to do that I'm going to do more exercising I mean I just started back exercising so that's good and um, my husband's going to be exercising as well um I even got this because it's the only other beet. Like I got fresh organic beets in the trunk. And then I wanted to like snack on some type of beet something. And they had this, which is red cabbage beets and carrots. So it tastes disgusting, but you know, I'm eating it because it's good for me. It's good for me. Yes, and there's Jag in the back. Hi. <laughs> So yeah, guys, listen to your body. You know, my husband had been having symptoms, like just weird stuff, and he kind of ignored it or didn't tell me that he was feeling that way till it was almost too late. So listen to your body, guys. And um, something tells you to check on yourself, check on yourself. Um, so yeah. What red and black thing? I think a lot of it has to do with, you know, since my husband's been in the hospital for four days, a little stressful. Just a little stressed out a little bit, so I think that's probably contributed definitely to a high blood pressure but um yeah guys I'm 37 so I'm a little young um and so I just gotta get it right and it's not even like I even like, I might eat one meal a day, you know what I'm saying? But I gotta exercise. I gotta exercise more. And like coffee, caffeine heightens your blood pressure, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna drink coffee anymore. You can't drink coffee anymore? No. Why? Because it's not good for mommy. Me, mommy and daddy aren't gonna drink coffee anymore. You know, that's our thing. My husband actually, um, 
my husband actually uh, stop trying to finish my sentence he he got diabetes from his alcoholism um, I don't know if you guys have seen some of you guys are new subscribers but there's a video over a year ago that I made called The Truth Behind Binge where it explains our, um, our, our issue with addiction and why I named um, my brand Binge because now we're binging on positive things. And so this is another positive thing we're gonna binge on. Um, not only quitting addictions, like my husband is quit drinking almost three years ago. I quit drinking five years ago. Um, he quit smoking cigarettes the beginning of this year. I quit smoking cigarettes. It'll be a year in June. Um, hey, sweetie. Hi. So we've been really um, doing stuff. Doing stuff. <laughs> and um, so now this is the last thing we need to do to really have a healthier way of life. You know, not only for us, but for the little the little people Mama, that love us. Yeah, so. and and I love my mommy. Oh, I love you too, sweetie. So I just wanted to turn the camera on since I had time and um, give you guys a little yeah little video update. So yeah, I'm here snacking on these these beats. <sighs> Guys, it is the next day. It is the next morning. It's 7.18 a.m. This has literally been a joke. Um, so I picked my husband up from the hospital. They gave him a prescription, right? To go get filled for his insulin and all the tools he needs, right? All right. He got picked up probably like, what was it, four something yesterday or five something in the afternoon. We dropped the prescription off at our local CVS. They said, come back in an hour. Come back in an hour. Oh, we, um, we don't have what you're asking for. Um, see if your doctor can prescribe you this instead. So we're like, what in the world is this? We're new to all this diabetes, like insulin and all these prescriptions and all this stuff. So we end up calling another CVS, not too far from us. And they said, oh yeah, we've got both of those. Come on down. That was at nine something at night, nine o'clock last night, okay. Because the first CVS, they told us to come back in an hour. We came back in an hour. Then they said, come back in 30 minutes, right? So he comes back in 30 minutes and they're like, oh, see if they can prescribe this because we don't have this. So then we go to the other CVS. Well, we call them first. They said they have it. We go, we drop off the prescription. Come back in 30 minutes because we close at 10 p.m. Okay, so I called first. And I said, hi, and I called in 30 minutes. I said, is the prescription done? No, we we don't have authorization from your doctor to give you the prescription. I have a prescription. That is authorization, right? They were trying to call the doctor. Of course, the doctor is not at the hospital because he got prescribed from a doctor at a hospital in the ER. No, they can't fill it. They don't have authorization. My husband, mind you, my husband has to eat three meals a day. Sorry. Five to six. He has to eat five to six carbs per meal. He has to have his insulin before each meal. He only had breakfast and lunch at the hospital. We're waiting on dinner. He's starving. 
but he can't eat dinner until he gets his insulin. So we call up to the hospital and they said, oh, just bring him back to the emergency room. We will, you know, take care of him. We go back to the emergency room. They they didn't get, administer him any um, insulin, right? But they did change his prescription to what the the first CVS had, right? But that CVS is not 24 hours, so we can't fill that prescription. So they gave us a new prescription, but not anything to take home to actually use. They didn't give us any insulin. They didn't give him his last shot for dinner. So he was like, you know what, screw it. I'm just not going to eat dinner. Um, and we checked his blood sugar. His blood sugar was fine. Um, not alarming or anything. So, he, oh, that's what they did. The hospital gave us a list of 24-hour pharmacies in the area right that could fill our prescription at midnight okay cool we called every single this is the list i'm not going to show you the but they give us this list of cvs pharmacy walgreens right a and we called i was like i'm not going all the way to any Place until we call to make sure they have the stuff. We called every single one on here. None of them are, the pharmacy is not open. How is this a 24 hour pharmacy list? The only one that was open, it was kind of far. And my husband was just like, the baby was in the car. It was just like, it was midnight. It was like, let's just go home. I won't eat anything. And we'll take care of it in the morning. So here I am in the morning. Taking care of it. Um, and I'm at the one that was 24 hours last night. But we didn't feel like going to. Because I came here like I left the house at like 6 something this morning. So I'm waiting for the prescription to be filled. Anyways guys sorry my husband was calling me. He doesn't want me to sit right here until 8 o'clock. So, I'm going to go home, but um, they only have one prescription here. So, I'm going to drop the other prescription off at the first CVS we went to yesterday. It's just like, guys, eat your fruits and vegetables. Do not say no to drugs and alcohol. Like, this shit is not even worth anything. Like, it's just not, it's not worth it, guys. Because whatever you think you're doing in your your youth and having fun, it catches up with you. Promise you that. Now, my blood pressure is a little high. And, um... I, I fasted yesterday. I didn't eat anything yesterday, but I did have coffee. So I'm not, I got to lay off the coffee if you have high blood pressure. And so I'm just going to be exercising and just eating fruits and vegetables. Like literally, it's not a game. And I usually have astoundingly low blood pressure. Like people be looking at me like, how are you even alive? And it's because it's so low. But I think this what's been going on with my husband being in the hospital for four days and all that other stuff has really took a toll on me so I'm gonna be monitoring that eh. guys it is not it is not worth it put the drink down cause it sugar Sugar is diabetes. All right, let me go home. See you guys in the next clip. Do you guys know the CVS that I was just at, that I dropped the prescription off with, and then they said come back in an hour to 
pick it up. I came back to pick it up and they said, oh, the overnight pharmacist didn't fill it. So they told me to come in and wait for the prescription to get filled. It only took a couple minutes, which that was fine. <sighs> the incompetence is just mind numbing. Um, so now I'm on my way to another CVS to fill his other prescription because this is just for nighttime, the one that he they did have. So he has to get his other prescription. He's starving. He's asking me, can he snack? And I'm like, no. I'm on my way to the other CVS. It should be open in half an hour, but it will take me less than half an hour to get there. That's why I'm talking to you guys. This week has sucked, like big time. Big time sucked. Um, just in the world, in my personal life, just kind of sucked like really bad um, I need to meditate I need to do something because I I need to get my blood pressure down probably gonna exercise once I get some energy or it'll give me energy but Anyways, guys, I'm drained. I'm just drained. See y'all in the next clip.